Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light, Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we had an unexpected visit here. We had a update to the Lightroom Classic application. We are now version 12. Okay, and uh, if you haven't, uh, make sure you update your uh, software. And it's going to be version 12 for the release and camera raw 15.0 okay and it puts some nice stuff in this new release and i'm going to just cover the the major uh changes in it and uh, uh some of them i think you'll find useful so let's just dive right in okay so the first thing that uh, uh they've given is uh, is the ability to content aware removal okay this is a feature that actually is coming from the uh photoshop world okay and so if we turn around and we click our normal uh healing brush right here in the middle you'll see that in addition to the the uh clone and the healing okay brush we have a third brush and this is what's new and they call this content aware removal. Um, basically what that means is it's taking some of the intelligence that was in Photoshop. And so it does a better job at healing and removing stuff. Okay. You know, whether it's blemishes or whatever items in the photo. Um, so to use it, it's no different than using the healing brush or anything else to simply select that and then just paint like that what you want and it will analyze it and it'll do its very best to do content aware okay and that's it it's that simple it'll give you a little bit better effect than if you're using the healing of the cloning brush okay so that's number one thing that's new okay the next thing that's new is object selection okay so we'll switch over to another another photo for that uh, I just chose this because it has three uh, things. But if you want to select an object, okay, we are going to go up to the object area here, and we now have a thing called objects. Okay, and we click that, and you'll notice up here we have a choice. We have a paintbrush, and we have a rectangular selection. Okay, so let's use the paintbrush for the first one, and you just paint on the selection that you want. It'll analyze it, and lo and behold, there it is. It's done the selection of the drink. Now, if you want to prefer to use the rectangular one, just call create a new mask, call it an object, and this time select the rectangular, and you just draw a selection around. It'll analyze it, and there it's selecting the objects, okay? So that's the second new feature is object selection. Okay. All right. So third thing. All right. Third thing is they've introduced a background. Okay. Selection. Um, so again, masking tool. Then you have your subject, your sky, and now you have the background. We click that. And there it is. It selects the background for you. Now, again, I preface this with everything. Uh, it's not perfect. Okay. None of these tools are perfect. Uh, on some photos, they'll have difficulty actually selecting things properly. But for the most part, it seems to work pretty good. Okay. So object selection. So this is the background maskings. All right, so next on the list. Okay, this is probably the most interesting one. Okay, and that is dealing with people. Okay, it has the ability to detect people in the photo. Just in the time that I brought this up, you could see it actually drew a mask for this person. And it automatically now will let me do a selection for the face the body the eyebrows 
the whites of the eyes, the iris of the pupil, lips, teeth, and hair. Okay? So, and it does it for all the people in the photo. So now you, instead of having to work really hard on trying to brush these things in individually, you now have the ability to do that. So you can just cancel that. And you can see I have it for any person, whichever one I hover over, it automatically makes a selection, okay, of that person so that I could work with. So if I wanted to work with, uh, let's say, her, uh, I could select her, and then it's going to come up and, and say, okay, I've detected her skin, I've detected her body skin, her eyebrows, okay, uh, the whites of the eyes, okay, that's what eye secura is, and um, iris and pupils, uh, lips, teeth, and hair, okay? So if you wanted to individually make a choice, uh, you know, uh, uh, an adjustment, you know, you could adjust her, you know, maybe you want to adjust her hair. It automatically makes the mask for you on the hair, and now you can just create that, and then you can go ahead and just adjust the hair how you like it, okay? And so that's a real handy uh, thing. Now, there are a few other things that it's done in, in the new update, uh, but those are the major ones. Um, one of the things they've done is they've given you the option now that if you want to move this uh, dialogue on the right side to the left, and, and flip it back and forth, you know, to the left, to the right, you now have that option in preferences. Um, you know, I don't consider that a big deal. Uh, but maybe some people that, that do maybe uh, would prefer to have all the tools on the left instead of the right. Uh, other than that, that's basically, uh, you know, some new cameras were put in, some new things were put in the camera raw. But those are the main features that they have put on. So, that's it. All right, guys. Till next week, you guys take care.